When Cyril Ramaphosa became president of South Africa in 2018, he did so by emphasizing his devotion to fighting corruption and ensuring that there would be consequences for state capture. In the years that followed, he often repeated this promise. However, almost four years later and looking back, Ramaphosa's track record of stopping corruption or holding corrupt people accountable is tantamount to inaction. Corruption has actually worsened. In 2021, the Special Investigating Unit, who is tasked with investigating state corruption, described the corruption that it had witnessed as at a scale never before seen. A 2021 Afrobarometer survey found that South Africans believe that corruption in South Africa worsened under Cyril Ramaphosa's administration, including in the office of the president itself. This is in stark contrast to the much more positive perceptions when he first entered office. To make matters worse, people who are implicated in state capture have yet to face notable consequences. Although former President Jacob Zuma was sent to prison, this was not on corruption charges, but for contempt of court. He was released on parole less than two months into his 15-month sentence. It was reported that Ramaphosa had given the green light for Zuma's parole. Ramaphosa's inaction to tackle corruption and his empty record of bringing serious consequences down on ANC cadres who are implicated in corruption show that the president is either unable or unwilling to take action to fight corruption. AfriForum's anti-corruption unit was established in 2016 to identify corruption among highly placed government officials, ensure that criminal charges are filed, apply pressure for prosecution by exposing corruption in the public, and conduct public campaigns against corruption. You can help blow the whistle on corruption by visiting www.stopcorruptie.co.za and reporting corrupt activities that you are aware of.